So here we have the Renault Twingo Dynamic on a 65 plate. I'm going to start by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels. We'll work our way right the way back around to the front and then as I say we'll hop in and run through some controls. Uh, but now that we've done a full circle of the car you can see it's in great condition the whole way around. A really nice colour for this car as well. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's where we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. These seats are as good as new. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. Uh, you can see the speedometer around the outside and the total miles are 27,724. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have cruise control and voice activation for the phone. And over in the center is where you would set that up, amongst other things, of course. So uh, the main volume for the stereo. When it comes to radio, this car has got FM, digital radio, and AM radio as well. If you want to plug in and listen to your own music, you can do. There's nothing at the moment connected, but you can see there's a USB input just there where you can connect up music devices should you wish to. Under the setup uh, menu there, you can make various different adjustments to language, clock, audio, and then this is where you would pair up your phone by going to pair device and pressing that OK button in and following the instructions on screen. Directly above that, you've got presets for the radio station and you can skip tracks when listening to music just there. We then have the air conditioning for the car, so you can determine the direction of the air, fan speed and temperature. Hit that button to turn the air conditioning on or off and that button will do your rear screen heater. You've got a slider around the bottom which will either circulate the air that's already in the car or bring fresh air in from outside. You then have a five speed manual gearbox and the buttons in front, you've got the eco mode that you can turn on from that button just there. And all the way back by the handbrake, we have a 12 volt charging socket underneath that cap. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.